In this video, I'm going to introduce view resource, which we will use to call API URLs and fetch our data instead of hard coding it in our JS file. So if I right now go to my main.js, you will see this is the to do which I am passing to the component, right? So let's quickly create the API, which will be the first part of this video. And then we will refactor our view component so that it uses the API call instead of this hard coded data. So some basic Laravel code, I am first going to um, set up my environment. If you can see my environment is set to DB connection SQLite. Okay. And let me create the Okay, this is the database file which I have created a simple blank database file and then let's create our first migration and model. So PHP, uh, sorry artisan make model dash M to do. Fine. So let me quickly check this. I have the to do model and inside migration. I have this. Okay, so the first column will be string title then I have uh, boolean completed okay and now that we are using the API it will be better if we start saving the user ID so I'll save the integer user ID unsigned okay so we'll have to inside our model okay I have a spacing problem uh, let me quickly go to editor and So editor config is a file which uh, tells the editor what are the different configurations in terms of indenting and everything which should be maintained. So now what will happen is I'll automatically get four spaces as the default tab. I like to have the configuration set properly so that you know the code looks proper in every editor. Anyway, so title completed and user ID these are the three fields which you are going to fill okay and yeah we have the migration file ready so PHP artisan migrate we have successfully migrated let me SQLite browser okay open database so inside the database folder I'll have the database SQLite go to browse yeah so we have our table go to the command line uh, do PHP artisan tinker and why not and why don't we create one dummy entry so to do we have done this several times right um, the title go shopping that's the default which we have hard coded right now um, I will do completed is is true user underscore ID is one for now let's create that fine this is done and let's create one more which will be false I haven't completed it and it will be pay mobile bill all right so let us confirm app to do all and we are getting it so we have some data in our database right quickly open our routes file we'll go here 
will create a route group okay uh, an array with prefix as api slash v1 okay Call it function inside that route get what do we call it to do's right uh, so again a function in this what we do is return app slash to do all all right nothing extra right now pretty simple stuff and let's quickly check if we are able to get the data so localhost 8000 slash api okay so we are getting it but there's a small problem which is the completed is coming as a string and if i quickly load the main js file main.js and that should be where is it yeah this is coming as a boolean in javascript as well right so we cannot um, pass a string it will break our code so what i will instead do is there's something in laravel called mutator accessors and mutators right um, i have previously created a view tutorial on that but anyways i'll quickly go through over it again so basically what will happen is whenever we are fetching any data through eloquent model and if we want to kind of format any of the data from any column we can use a mutator it will mutate it so it uh, we can create an accessor and it will you know, allow us to reformat it as we want to so for example right now what i want to do is if completed is equal to one then i'll pass it as a true a boolean value and if it is zero then i'll pass it false right so let's quickly copy this this is the syntax i'll come here paste it here okay it says get then the column name and then attribute so get an attribute is compulsory our column name is completed so we'll do that and we automatically get the value as a parameter so i will do if value return true otherwise it will always return false which means the to do is not completed okay and we are done so the basic api is ready you know um, what have we done we have created the migration we created the class i'm sorry the model and we have created a route and in the next tutorial we are going to configure our view application to basically fetch data from this url